video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use FusionAuth's new UI template feature to make our OAuth login page look exactly like Stack Overflow's. First thing I have to do is I have to copy the HTML from Stack Overflow's login page and put it into a text editor. The quickest way to do this is to open the inspector and then hit the resources tab. And from here you can select all and then copy everything over into something like Atom. Okay, now that I have the HTML in my text editor, I'll just quickly reformat it so it's easier to work with. Okay, so Stack Overflow has some extra JavaScript and HTML that they use for their login form, and I think it's for their OpenID Connect um, as well. So we don't need that because FusionAuth is going to handle everything for us. So I'll just quickly find all those HTML elements and go ahead and delete them. Okay, and one more down here, this little auth init block, delete that, and then we should be good to go. Okay, now we're going to flip over to FusionAuth. We're going to click on Settings and System, and under the UI tab, you'll notice that there are a bunch of templates down here. So all of these templates are free marker, and what we'll be doing is we'll be copying and pasting different HTML elements from the Stack Overflow login page into these templates. Then once FusionAuth renders them, our login form should look exactly like Stack Overflows. Okay, so let's get started. First, we need to grab the main HTML element. So we grab that and we copy it into this head, oh, sorry, HTML macro. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up our head and copy and paste all of Stack Overflow's head elements in two hours. First I'll grab Stack Overflow's title and I'll copy it into the title of our macro. So I can delete all the links here and all of our fav icons and our CSS and all of that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip back over and I'm going to grab Stack Overflow's head elements and then I'm going to copy those into this macro. Okay. Next, we're going to grab the information from Stack Overflow's body and we're going to copy that into the body macro in FusionAuth. Next, I'm going to take and I'm going to remove all of the header information from FusionAuth's templates and replace it with Stack Overflow's header. This header includes everything at the top of Stack Overflow's page. So that's their search bar, and all of the uh, navigation items as well. And one of the benefits is that FusionAuth will include this header information in any other page. So, you know, forgot password, um, changing passwords, MFA, all of those pages within FusionAuth will also include this header automatically. Okay, next we're going to work on the main content area of the page. So I'm going to delete all of these pieces from the FusionAuth template. This nested is where the actual body from our authorized page will be put in, but we do need to grab a couple of HTML pieces from Stack Overflow that are sort of decorations around their login form. So that'll include everything on the left-hand side, as well as these two little tabs at the top that say login or sign up. So we'll grab those pieces and we'll wrap uh, our nested pieces here as well as these two alert macros that we have and, and then we'll go ahead and close off the divs. So one thing to note here is that our free marker support and our HTML support um, are listing a couple of things as errors, but you can ignore those errors. Everything will render just fine. And the last thing we need to include from Stack Overflow is their footer. So they actually have a fairly large footer with a lot of links in it, and that's going to go into this footer macro. So we'll flip over and we'll scroll down, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab everything inside their footer element, as well as a bunch of scripts that they have at the bottom of the page, and we're going to copy and paste that into our footer macro. And we're going to go ahead and leave the nested element there, just in the case, case an individual page needs to include any extra scripts or something. Okay, that's it. Now we can go ahead and click Save. And we're done with our macros. So the next piece is we're going to work on the Authorize page. That's the actual login form that's part of the OAuth workflow within FusionAuth.
One quick thing to note here is that you can see we're using all of the macros we defined in the other file. So helpers.body, helpers.head, helpers.main, those are all the macros where we included everything from the Stack Overflow site. Okay, we'll flip back over to Adam. We're going to scroll up and we're actually going to grab the login form from Stack Overflow. So everything from this subhead and this div that includes the login page all the way down, uh, including this form, as well as this account for employers down here at the bottom. So we'll copy that and we're going to flip back over and we're going to paste that into our authorized template. However, we're going to leave the original form that FusionAuth shipped with because we're going to need some things out of it. Okay, we're going to come up here and we're going to change our action for our form to the authorized endpoint in OAuth. We can delete most of the hidden elements from the Stack Overflow form because we don't need those and they actually won't sync up to our back end, so they'll end up causing issues. Okay, Fusion Auth contains a couple of hidden fields that it needs for our OAuth workflow to work properly. So we're going to grab all of those hidden elements, copy them, and we're going to actually paste them into the form up top here. So you'll notice that these are fairly standard OAuth 2 parameters. Also, FusionAuth provides a couple of helper macros that allow us to set up our form fields. And these are nice because they'll handle any types of errors that might be generated. For example, if you forget to type in the email or the password, it'll put a nice error message on that field for you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the labels that come with the Stack Overflow HTML, and I'm going to delete their inputs because we won't need those. Um, ours won't look exactly like theirs, but it'll be close enough. We could also add labels if we needed to. I'm going to change the forgot password link, so that's slash password slash forgot. I'm also going to remove the name from their submit button, and I'm going to change the type of it to submit. Those two things are needed because of the way that FusionAuth handles form submissions. Okay, cool. So now that the Stack Overflow form is all set up, we need to delete the form that ships with FusionAuth. So we can scroll down here, select the form, and then just delete it. There's also this helpers macro here for alternative logins. That's all of our social login providers. And since the Stack Overflow HTML includes those divs up top here, we can go ahead and delete that macro from the bottom. Let's go ahead and hook up the social providers. So Stack Overflow ships with Google, which is this one up here. I'm going to delete all of their data attributes because we won't need those. So FusionAuth has some JavaScript, and it's keyed off of an ID. So I need to say Google login button here as the ID. Then I need to grab some code that we have that allows us to hook up to our JavaScript. So you'll see here this data-scope that I grabbed from my Atom editor. So what that does is that's going to provide the scopes that have been configured in FusionAuth for Google login. I'm going to do basically the same thing for Facebook. So I'm going to say Facebook login button as the ID. And then I'm going to flip back over to Adam, and I'm going to grab this data permissions, which is the same as scopes, but that's the Facebook terminology. All right, so there we go. So now we have our two login buttons set up for Google and Facebook, and I can go ahead and save that off. OK, there's one more thing I want to set up. FusionAuth actually has a style sheet that can be included on every page. Because FusionAuth is going to use a couple of specialized styles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some CSS that I've created, and I'm going to paste it into this style sheet. So these CSS elements are for our errors and a couple of our alerts. And these will help format the page when anything goes wrong. And that's it. So I can save this off, and we are ready to go. OK, now the best part, let's give it a spin. So I'm going to use Chrome for this. Type in our address, and boom, here's the login page. So this is actually FusionAuth's login page, skinned exactly like Stack Overflow's login page. I can test a couple of things. So I can hit the form, and you'll see it pops up some error messages. I can type in invalid credentials, and you'll see the alert up at the top. And then I'll go ahead and click on Facebook. See that that pops up nicely, and Google. So there you have it. It's the FusionAuth login form skinned exactly like Stack Overflows.